Hey kids, Mr. Wellness here, and today we're gonna... Something smells like smoke. Do you know what to do in a fire? Be right back with another Wellness 101 Junior. Presented by St. Luke's Pediatrics. <coughs> Did you know, on average, a fire department responds to a fire somewhere in the U.S. every 23 seconds? You heard me right. Knowing what to do in a fire could mean the difference between life and death. But no need to worry, my friends. Just follow these steps. Step 1. Stay calm. It's important to stay calm in any emergency situation. Remaining calm helps you to stay focused and allows you to make the right decisions. If you panic and get bent out of shape, you could potentially hurt yourself or others. When dangerous or scary things happen, remember, take a deep breath and focus on the problem at hand, which in the case of a fire is getting to safety as quick as you can. Step two, get to safety. Studies have shown that you may only have two minutes to safely escape a home fire. Follow your family's escape plan. If you don't have one, you should make one and practice it often to make sure everyone can get out of the house in under two minutes. When escaping, remember, smoke rises, gang. So stay low to the ground and crawl to avoid breathing in smoke. Do not open the door if it feels warm to the back of your hand. A warm door could mean there's fire on the other side. Use another exit instead if possible. However, if your exit is blocked, stuff clothes under the door to prevent smoke from coming in. Dial 911, then open a window and wave something white like a pillowcase or a t-shirt to signal for help. Step three, after escaping. Once you've made it out of the house, get far away from it. Do not go back in for any reason and call 911 right away. Your 911 operator will wanna know your address, what happened, who's with you, and if there's anyone left in the house. Be sure to listen and do exactly what they tell you to do. Remember, gang, seconds matter in an emergency. How we respond in an emergency can make all the difference in the world. It's important to note that not all fires are fought the same way. For example, you'd never want to throw water on a grease fire, but we'll save that for another episode. Kiddos, if you unfortunately happen to find yourself in a fire, remember to stay calm, escape your home as quick as you can, and don't go back in no matter what, and dial 911 right away. Until next time, this is Mr. Wellness and Welby saying be well and follow the steps to a healthier you.